morning man it is cold here in north carolina so we go from this past weekend to having a tropical storm and i was kind of sweating working on the car to now i'm literally freezing this morning we're north, north carolinians though so we still have shorts on with hoodies <laughs> but uh she's a little chilly so we're probably gonna bust out the heater today so as you can tell from the description of the video we are going to talk single stage paint on your project race car so we're going to imagine that this is a race car so that we can get views and so everybody will watch it because if it's not a race car people don't want to watch it i don't know why because the same thing applies to all applications but for some way for some reason that's how it is so for everybody that wants to paint their car yourself you got this little bmw that you ls swap with a turbo 400 input 10 soldiers four links in the rear and motor plates and all this crazy stuff um this is your little project so now you need to get some paint on it so we are going to finally for once walk through um a cheap single stage paint job so the uh what's going on with this car though so you can understand and you'll know fully uh what we're up against is this is a movie car so i am working for the movie studios this morning doing a fast little job uh, i'm awesome gonna give you all tons of information and in this uh it's probably not gonna be one video probably be at least two uh but i'm also going to disclose how much we make and how much we charge and you'll actually get to see all the work and you'll learn along the way to be able to do your race car because we're not doing this high end we're actually doing this as low end as possible so what you can do is take your project and um apply everything you've learned off of randy's fox body the blue fox body um everything else that we've painted on this channel uh that was a little higher end now i'm going to show you the low end of stuff and then you can kind of mix it up yourself and you can take some advice from the other cars you know take some ways from this car and uh, mix them all together and get what kind of quality you may want um so this is going in the movie uh what's going to happen is the uh they had this is a stunt double car so this has the motor pulled out of it transmission pulled out of it. it's been gutted you can almost kind of see the light right through there when we walk by right there okay so there's nothing in there that way the epa don't get mad and they are they have a scene where a guy is driving this uh car uh which is actually the other car and he kidnaps a girl chunks are in the trunk and then he goes to a river you know what's going to happen is um, they're gonna push the car into the river so he's gonna be driving another car it's gonna cut away real fast they're gonna distract you however you know movie magic works they, they do something to distract you and then when the guy gets out and it cuts for just a split second where you won't even realize it uh, and they go to push the car it's actually gonna switch to this car so they're gonna push this car into a river the chick's gonna be tied up in the bed in the uh, trunk of the car screaming for help and then some people are gonna come in and rescue her right at the last minute so we've got to do the stunt double car um, what makes this extremely hard or harder is they already have the original car so uh, Chris, the uh, the guy I work for, had went and bought the original, and so we're matching the original to this one. Uh, the problem with the original is it's also a single stage paint job that somebody else um, has already sprayed, and I'll show you that gas door, and you'll kind of get a feel for the quality of the original car. So this is going to be our original car gas door. You can see how bad the orange peel is. This is pretty much what we are going to put out today, if not worse. Um, you can see the paint chips. I mean, this is a very low grade. Uh, paint job on the other car so it's a, it's a nice car but the paint is just obviously wore out for what, what is this thing an 89 or uh, 80s um, I think if not early 90s so the paint's just completely beat all to crap but we have to try to match this so this is an extremely hard one to match because of all the metallics you can see it's not hitting right now but you can see that this is a red and then with this other stuff in here that almost looks uh I don't even know what you would call it, but you can see it. That, that's metallics laying in it and then all the trash. So we have to try, we have tried to match this color as cheap as possible to our other vehicle outside or for our other vehicle outside. So what they're doing is they will take both cars and make both bumpers black. So uh, his guys, uh, he has some guys that work for him had already started plastic dipping the uh the bumpers and that's why they have blue painter's tape we don't use blue painter's tape here obviously um 
And then, you know, he paused him on this and he was like, yeah, you got to quit because he's going to mask the, me. I'm going to mask the top of the bumper. And then when I go to pull my tape, it's just going to pull the plastic dip right off. So he will also take the original car now because it had chrome bumpers um, and he'll plastic dip the original car so that both of these match. You have to kind of make two cars that match. So sometimes you have to plastic dip, spray paint stuff, you know, whatever. Um, so that all of that's black. We're not changing none of that. So uh, we'll be taping up the headlights and he's pulled all the grills out we'll probably tape up the emblem i guess and uh we'll tape up the washer things and the windshield wipers and you know the little stuff like that but our tape work's going to be extremely fast uh even on like the sunroof uh, or moonroof whatever you want to call this thing we will not be taping this gasket we'll literally just paint right over it so this is going to be extremely shoddy fast work uh it's that's the name of the game with stuff like this we'll probably smooth out this right here with the sander really quick um and get that cleaned up so that you don't see that in the paint he's ripped the emblems off of both cars since i don't think they're the exact same three series uh that way just neither car has emblems on it in the movies and the pinstripe let's see here we will we'll have to run the sander probably well i don't know we might gently run the sander over that probably not i'll probably just paint right over it so we'll go over the price how long it takes um everything with y'all i'm gonna try to do some time lapse so you can actually see how fast i prep this one for once uh, i'll probably speed the time lapse up but uh, i want to actually show you what i actually do and what i don't do um that way you get a really good gift of how a cheap single stage paint job is done um coming in here we have to do this jam just the driver jam in case the camera crew um wants to blend it so that he's actually climbing out of this car instead of cutting it when he's walking to the trunk to push it or something uh we have to just you know get some color in here but we're obviously going to get it all over seals and everything we might actually just rip this seal out um so movie work is a little different than normal work but this should give y'all a good blend of high to high end stuff and low end stuff and then we will be doing inside the trunk uh from the lip up in the bottom side of the trunk lid so that's going to show you how to how i cheaply do one jam to get you an idea and it's going to show you how i cheaply do inside the trunk or under the lid you know no under the hood or nothing like that but that just gives you two examples so you can maybe apply it to your vehicle if you're going to do a color change and you want to do something really uh, cheap and you don't want to put a lot of time into it so this should be perfect for y'all guys like that so i think it's, it's freezing out here i told eddie i was going to prep this out here but i don't think i am i think we're going to pull this thing into the bay and turn the heater on and uh prep this inside because uh it's a little colder than i thought and i don't feel like sticking my hands in ice water this morning so uh let me get eddie help me push this thing aside and then we will uh start prepping this stuff out all right, so for this, all we're gonna do is we're gonna we're just gonna use 180. Uh, we're not gonna use 320 because it's single stage, and single stage literally covers over pretty much anything. So uh, there's just no reason to spend the time on the 320. Uh, the name of the game with this car, uh, which you'll see whenever I go over the money, is to get this done as fast as possible. The faster you get this done, uh, the more your hourly pay goes up, literally. Um, so that's the name of the game. We're going to 180 these out, maybe 180 the pinstripes really quick, and then it's straight to scuffing, let it dry into the booth. All right, so that's that. That took maybe 15 minutes, um, 20 minutes max, bull crapping around with Eddie and talking, you know, as he walked up to scuff that down. So we're gonna let it dry. We got the heater pounding on it. Fortunately, it helps because it's cold outside. Now, if it was during the summer months, we've done some of these in the summer months. It seems like I do more in the winter, actually, weirdly, now that I think about it. Um, 
but if, if it was in the summer months we would literally just pull it out bake it in the sun and you're good to go um, I've got to get in here help Eddie finish taping the one that's in the booth get this one painted it's one of our cars and then we will uh, get this thing taped up I'll show you how fast we tape what we tape what we don't tape and then um, this afternoon we're gonna be mixing some paint and shooting it so these are always one day turnarounds preferably four to six hours um, quick in and out jobs got to get them done fast if you want to make really good money and these pay really good and for anybody that wants to know we prep this using regular dawn dish soap so all I do is take a bucket and put soap in water we went over this in the past on this channel we use regular dawn dish soap from Foo Lion um, you can get I'm sure other soaps just try not to get nothing with no additives just try to get plain Jane degreasing washing soap and then the scotch Bright pads that I use come in a box that's the part number it's a uh, 3m product so you can order these off Amazon or eBay if you want. This is how we prep all of our cars um, in the end when we go to wash them. So even high-end stuff gets finalized, uh, scuffed down with soap and water with Scott Sprite pads. All right, Ed's pulling one out the booth that we just sprayed. And we're gonna get our little BMW into the booth and get this thing taped up. I'm gonna throw y'all back on time-lapse and you know, watch me tape this thing up. We shot the front end of this one this morning. Basic front end hit. Let that thing get some fresh air and some sun. I had to get that together this afternoon. And we're going to bang this thing out, see how fast we can change the color of this. All right, so what I'm going to do real fast before I start time lapsing um, is go through and just blow it all off. So when you scotch right it and you do jobs this fast and you soap and water, it hasn't had time to fully dry out of like all the door jams and everything. So I got to take the air hose and just blow it down. It'll take me about probably 10 minutes to go over the whole car, not to, you know, you know, blow everything out and then we'll start taping and I'll throw the time lapse on. You can kind of watch me pound down some tape real fast. So it goes super fast. We'll drop plastic and then we'll get ready to shoot some paint on this thing. Okay, so on the movie part of things, this is gonna be kind of a mixed, is we've got to get that white out of there, but you gotta do this fast. Uh, we don't want to sit here and tape this up um, for paint. And actually on this side, so I just noticed there's black, there's a black seal inside there. So there's actually supposed to be a black seal. I did not I did not even notice that. So this side all I've done is just put some tape on the chrome trim and then just took some bumper paint. And as you can see, just blast it up in there. You're gonna run it, you're gonna get it all over everything, but it doesn't matter. This is movie work. So this is movie studios. Uh, it's just got to uh, be on screen for a couple of seconds or a minute or two. And that's it so that's gonna be that and we're gonna leave that on there so we'll just paint over top of all that spray paint that sprayed over there and then of course plastic will go from here you know and cover all the window up so that's just why i really like this movie studio work because it's hack work and i absolutely love hack work so i'm gonna put you on time lapse and start taping this thing out and i'll show you any tips and tricks that we do as far as with movie work along the way <laughs> 